On behalf of the Gold Coast Turf Club, I can't say how happy we are today to get this project up and running. It started back in 2011, but you're here by the extra investment that the, the government and Racing Queensland have contributed up to 63 million. This takes this project to a new level. Everyone's been talking to us about night racing for so many years. Well, finally, it's going to get delivered. Our target is Magic Millions 2024. That's our target. With BMB and all the uh, great civil company like that on board, I'm very confident we will deliver it in time and under budget. This investment um, is going to build a bigger and better Gold Coast Turf Club, an over $63 million investment here on the Gold Coast to be lighting. The, um, the track will be having um, synthetic or weather tracks, so no matter what the weather is, like today, we will be able to race here and they can also take some of the load if there is wet weather in other parts of Queensland. We can rely on the Gold Coast as we do on the Sunshine Coast for all weather tracks um, here in this wonderful part of Queensland. What will be delivered is a world-class racing facility under lights. Light night racing that will be beamed around the world, a world-class training facility, one of the biggest in Australasia, and with that as well, a metropolitan standard track, which will be the rival and envy of so many around. So with great support from the Palaszczuk government, construction's underway, BMDs here in the sod turn today is a great milestone on behalf of the racing industry and a fantastic dynamic club to take racing to the world and to a whole lot of new audiences. This is a significant milestone because we think that the Gold Coast Turf Club has the opportunity to be another metropolitan club and importantly in a world context it's impossible to imagine a better place to be beaming out images of this sensational city. The program will be uh, temporary training facilities over the next couple of weeks that will get up and run for the next six months. That's whilst we develop uh, the synthetic track, which all things being equal will be completed towards the end of the year. After millions in 2023, we'll head off with the course proper and its upgrades. About a year and a half, two years time doing this same sort of interview saying we're a world-class facility now.